at 12.24 a.m., the wee hours of the morning, yesterday morning to be exact, I posted this video, so just a little less than 24 hours ago. So in a little less than 24 hours, this video's had uh, 3,270 hits, 400 thumbs up and one thumbs down. The only reason there's a thumb down at all is because uh, this guy, uh, he lives in his mama's basement, and he was sitting down there uh, eating Cheetos and watching uh, YouTube, and he realized he was out of cigarettes, and he had to borrow some money, he had to bump some money off of mama to go to the 7-Eleven and get him some cigarettes, and when he got up off the Davino, he bumped into the TV tray, and, and it, the cursor just happened to be floating over that uh, thumbs down, so when he bumped the TV tray, it just accidentally clicked the mouse and, and caused it to be a thumbs down, and that's the only reason there's a thumbs down at all. Out of those 400 comments, there were only two that had any kind of criticism at all, and those were both uh, kind and constructive. So there isn't anything negative going on here at all. I just want to read one comment that was made on this video, and then we'll get on with it. Okay, a gentleman by the name of Cabinet Maker says, Very, very good. I was surprised that there were that many rat rods in such a small town. Did a lot of them come from other towns? Was this a judged event? I did not see any of your cars. Were they there? Thanks for sharing. Okay, you answered your own question. Uh, surprised that many rat rods in a small town. Well, no, there's not that many in a small town. They came from all over the state, actually. And uh, was it a judged event? Well, not really. I mean, they have some trophies. They have uh, categories, maybe the best in the 1930s or 40s, you know, the decades, and then they might give one for, sometimes they're just silly, you know, maybe the one that traveled the furthest. And sometimes they'll have a People's Choice Award, so just people who come to see the cars, the spectators can vote on their favorite car, and that will maybe get a trophy. So it's not really a competition. I mean, I guess you could say it's judged, but uh, not with much sincerity. As for my cars, no, I didn't have anything there. It was really early, early in the spring, and I expect I was probably grafting that day. Uh, plus, it rained. It just dumped. Kerwood said, well, he had his roadster. He said he got just absolutely soaked. And yes, that is an airplane cabin. Um, a lot of people have commented about that on this video, and I see it around at car shows all the time. It's not really my cup of tea, but a lot of you have shown interest, so the next time I see it, I'll make an effort to get uh, some good shots of it for you. You know, I figured out when I go video these car shows that I'm not making these videos for me. I'm making them for you. So if you see a particular rig that you're interested in, let me know, and I'll try to get some better shots of it for you. Okay, the whole point of this video, well, aside from featuring a couple of rigs that you guys seem to have shown some interest in. The whole point would be that all you guys really seem to enjoy walking around this car show with old Kerwood and checking out this old iron. Well, if that's the case, boy, have I got something in store for you. But it's not going to be all calm and relaxed and mellow and laid back like this one. <laughs> I'm talking oh, about some rockabilly music now. Pompadours and tattooed women. Motorcycles. Some wild rides. More and more wild rides. Flame out. Stay tuned guys, it's all going to happen right here with old Wailing Wire. Tricycle is coming up. Whatever you can imagine, it's going to happen. Over the course of the next few days, I'm going to show you over 1,000 rat rods. I know 
know there's going to be a couple of pre-show parties tonight. One of them's out there at that Chevrolet Hall of Fame Museum. And um, there's supposed to be a, some hot bands there. There's going to be music. There's going to be people burning rubber and shooting flames out their tailpipes. <laughs> Drinking beard and generally acting a fool, and I want to be right in the middle of it. 